<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, suck it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's talk about Black Friday today. Uh, we only have a few days left, and um, we're going to, you know, do the usual stuff, eat French fries, and talk about Black Friday. Right, Valerie? Hey yeah, totally. <laughs> so Valerie's going to eat French fries. I'm going to talk about Black Friday. I'm sorry. Um, so... So yeah, so any questions you have, uh, go ahead and shoot them in the chat. Um, you know, I'm going to tell you what I think uh, the best ideas are. Uh, we're going to be out live streaming, so if you follow me on, uh, or if we're friends on Facebook, everybody in the Mastermind should be. Uh, if not, send me a friend request. Um, we're going to be live streaming from some of the stores, uh, you know, showing you the deals, showing you the stores. Uh, we got a brand new uh, live streaming. We have a brand new live streaming camera. I got a a monopod that we're going to take with us. So um, this thing is ridiculous. Um, so I can now stream to Facebook Live. Um, if you see this, it's called Amiibo. I'm sure you've seen it all over Facebook. I'm like, my whole feed gets destroyed by ads for this thing. Um, but it's the first camera that lets you stream uh, straight to Facebook. Uh, to Facebook Live. So um, now we can stream from the camera right to Facebook Live. And I got this, I, you probably can't even see it, but um, it's called a monopod. It's like a tripod with no no legs. So I can extend this, uh, if you can see here, I, I, you can extend this thing like five feet long. Uh, and I got the camera attached to the end of it. And then we're gonna, um, and then it'll be hooked up to Facebook Live. So um, we'll be able to get shots of the whole store. You guys can see what's going on if you're not out in the field. And, um, you know, good times will be had by all, but hopefully uh, you don't see any of that because um, you're going to be out shopping in the store, as uh, I would assume. So, um, you know, the, your best bet is to, um, you know, plan ahead and decide, you know, what you want to buy, make lists, um, you know, optimally, you want to have, really, if you can have three people to go for Black Friday, it, it, it's the best thing. You know, um, you know, if not two, I mean, if you're alone, you're alone. But, um, you know, hopefully you can at least get a getaway driver, um, somebody who can, you know, stay with the car because it's going to be a madhouse trying to find uh, parking spots and you're going to be going from store to store. So, you know, you're not camping out right now to get the, the hot deal. Um, you know, nobody cares about those deals at, um, you know, at Walmart and Target. I mean, you know, there's people lined up around the block to care, but we don't care. Uh, you know, we're not going there to get the $99 TV or the Xbox or the, you know, PS4 or whatever hot deals they have for, um, for their uh, door busters. You know, what we're going for is um, everything else. You know, so if there's a 60 or 80 page ad at Walmart and, um, you know, I know exactly how big every single Black, uh, Black Friday ad that's been released is, <coughs> some of them have up to 2,000 products uh, this year in their ad. So, you know, uh, there's only a handful of them are the door busters. The ones that people are waiting in line for you know, there's probably only a half dozen at the most at each store. Uh, we're not worried about those. We're worried about, you know, the other things, uh, the cheaper electronics, uh, you know, uh, DVDs, if you sell DVDs, video games, um, you know, there's clothing and tons of toys and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, you know, it's really going to be worth it. Uh, I know that uh, they've been holding back. Um, you know, I've talked to some distributors that, um, you know, and some managers at, um, at Walmart. And I, I know that, uh, you know, I know for a fact that uh, the reason why nobody has seen any Hatchables lately is because uh, they're, being, they're being held 
uh, for Black Friday because they want to have as many for Black Friday as they can because nobody knew it was going to be as big of a deal as it is. Um, so with the deal with Hatchimals is um, they weren't expecting it to be a big deal. So it's in everybody's Black Friday ads and it has been for, you know, a long time. So now uh, they're kind of stuck at being the hottest toy out there. And they did all this promotion uh, that they could get them for Black Friday. So now they've been having to hold all their stock so they have enough for Black Friday. Um, that's not to say that the price is going to tank because uh, it really is one of the hottest things out. So I don't think any kind of supply is going to keep up with that demand. Um, you know, the prices may go down a little bit, but you're definitely going to make money. I mean, they're selling for 200 to 250 bucks on Amazon. So, um, you know, they're going to stay in that range till Christmas, I'm sure. Um, you know, so the biggest thing is uh, to do your research. Uh, you know, the top three things that we're going to do is, you know, of course, do your research, go through those ads, decide what stores you want to go to. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're there when the sale starts because uh, the things that um, there's still stuff going to be there. So you get ads, make checklists of the things you want at each store. Um, you know, get a driver if you can and have somebody come with you if you can. So, um, you know, optimally in our situation, we're going to have, um, I mean, the best thing is if you can, you know, have somebody who has, you know, handicapped parking uh, is always best. Um, you know, so you can get maybe the last few spots that, uh, that aren't available. Um, and, you know, and the next thing that you want is, um, you know, if you can have that driver waiting for you there. Um, the reason we have two people going into the stores. Sorry. Right. Um, the reason why we have the um, multiple people in the stores is if you're either going to be taking multiple shopping carts um, or um, even if you have one shopping cart, uh, you're not. There's no room for shopping carts on Black Friday, you know, in Toys R Us or Walmart or, you know, Target's not usually as bad. Um, you know, Target's usually not as bad, but, um, you know, definitely a Walmart, you're not going to be able to drive those, that cart through those aisles. So um, you're going to get stuck somewhere and that's going to be the end of it. Uh, so... You need somebody that can stay in an open area with the cart in a central location. If you're doing one side of the store, keep them there. They can move to the next side when you're done there. And uh, so they have the cart. You get the stuff. You're going to take the stuff to the cart, take it to them that are watching one or two or four carts. Um, and then you're going to uh, go back and get more stuff and work your way through, uh, through your list. You know, um, either... And, and the next thing you need to know is that stuff is not going to be where you expect it to be. So uh, if you, your best bet is to go uh, and in different stores, and I'm just using Walmart as an example, but especially at Walmart, um, they know the most popular stuff, obviously. So if you know, you're looking for electronics, if you're looking for a video game or a TV, and, you know, a lot of stuff is going to concentrate around toys and electronics. So all of the, the hot stuff for Black Friday is not going to be in the electronics department. They spread it all out all over the store. So, you know, there will be TVs down the aisles, in, um, and it will be well marked, but you're going to have to know in advance. So you might have TVs down a grocery aisle. Um, just so they can split up the queue lines and split up uh, however they distribute it at those stores. So um, it's always best um, if you can get in early and different Walmarts, uh, you know, have their hours differently, you know, but you're usually able to get in the store before the deal starts. So if it starts, and I don't remember exactly, we can look at that in a bit, but um, when you, um, it's always best to be able to go and, um, you know, check out the store ahead of time, see where they put all those pallets out, and they'll be out there um, most of the day. Um, so if we look at... So I'm going to share my screen real quick, uh, and we can go over this as we, uh, as we look.
Okay, so that just took us right to Walmart. So let's look at, um, I'm a Black Friday, BF Ads, of course. Uh, most people know by now this should be my favorite store. Uh, we're gonna look at, um, we're gonna look at Walmart. So the deals actually start at 6 p.m. On, uh, on Black Friday. We'll open at 6 p.m. this year. Um, so, we're, so this is the front page. Um, okay. Are we not able to get that off the screen? Oh, okay. So Black Friday starts 6 p.m. Thursday, November 24th in store and all day Thursday online. Now, traditionally that means um, you know, it's going to start at midnight, um, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, um, you know, online. So usually that's when we're going to start. We're going to start Wednesday, um, Wednesday night at midnight Eastern time. And we're going to, um, we're going to go in and, uh, you know, buy whatever we, uh, we think we want. Um, usually not everything is available. Um, and a lot of the stuff is going to sell out. Like a hundred and twenty-five dollar forty-inch TV, I would assume that's one going to be one of their doorbusters. I know they're doing the guaranteed in stock uh, stuff as well, so I'm not sure um, which ones there are. I, I actually haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at the actual ads this year because um, you know we've been scan, uh, you know, we've been doing the scans with the ads, uh, you know, which we talked about in that webinar we did. Um, so I was just looking to see if they were doing any of the guaranteed in, in stock stuff, but as you can see, while supplies last, of course, um, because a lot of the stuff is going to sell out, people are going to be going for those TVs and there's only, you know, a handful of stuff, you know, $2 DVDs are usually a really hot seller and, um, Okay, so they got $2 DVDs, $4 DVDs, $7 DVDs, and $8 DVDs. Um, you know, so the deals are going to start here at 6 p.m. Um, the, store, the stores are different. Sometimes some of the stores decide to close some of the Walmarts, and some of them are going to be open all day long. So if your store is going to be open all day long or the stores that you're planning on going to, and each one's going to set them up differently. But uh, if your store is going to be open all day, and I would recommend, you know, we spend Thanksgiving with our family. I'm not going out until um, evening time, but if there's some of these hot deals that you want to get, uh, then you know, you're going to have to be there when it starts. But if this starts at 6, you know, maybe I don't show up there till 8 or 9 p.m. because the stuff that I want isn't going to be, you know, people aren't going to be fighting and waiting in line for, you know, things like DVDs or, you know, headphones or, wow, Tone Pros for $29. That's, that's a serious deal right there. Um, nice. Um, you know, so people, I, I'm sure, are going to be fighting over this $200 iPad Mini and um, whatever other deals, oh, $119 Chromebook. Um, you know, but these aren't things that are going to be good for, for resale. But there's going to be tons of stuff. Yeah, no when you get a chance. You have a question? No, there's one in a chat that kind of ha it applies to being on Walmart and adding uh, items to your wish, your wish list. Right. Does loading items into your wish list ahead of time work? Uh, yes, John. You can uh, go to these links, and I'll tell you, some stores have this stuff active. We did cover this in our, um, in I think the webinar I was on Christopher Grant with. Of course, all you guys didn't do that, but um, what you can do, it, it works at Walmart, uh, may or may not work at other stores. Um, Walmart has all of these deals live right now. So, um, you know, some of the things that are special buys just for Black Friday, uh, they may not be um, in stock. Like this one is out of stock, but, you know, um, 
there's, I think, about 160 stores that will have Black Friday ads. Um, and, you know, uh, when we ran our last scan for BF ads, there was about 100 that were, uh, the ads were actually leaked. So if you go here for Walmart, you can see this one here is in stock, but it's not available. It's sold out. Um, so it'll go in stock, however many they have for the online buying, and then, you know, they'll be in the stores as well. Um, and you'll be able to add them to your wish list at Walmart. But other stores, uh, stores like, um, I know Kmart, when something's sold out, they just pull it out of the inventory. So if you tried to go to the link, um, it wouldn't even exist. So, you know, it would say that page isn't found. So obviously, if it's not a page in their catalog, then you can't add it to the wish list. But at Walmart, for sure, you can go to these links, you can add them to your wish list, and then when they do come in stock, um, you know, when you hit that, uh, whenever it starts on Wednesday or whatever it is, you can, um, you can just click on them or, uh, you know, hit the add to cart, and that's all there is, uh, that's all there is to it. It's gonna be uh, very easy to do with a store like Walmart. Um, you know, but keep in mind, and don't hold me to that for every store, uh, like I said, but, um, you know, some stores remove them from their inventory when it's not available, or if it's not going to go live till a certain time, they won't have it there. But with Walmart, you can do that. You can add it to your, um, to your wish list. You can't add it to your cart because it's not available. It's currently sold out, but it will come back in stock at that time. Um, and beyond that, um, I believe you can also print out your wish list. So if there's stuff you're going to try and go and get in stores, um, you can add the stuff to your wish list and then print out a copy of your wish list, uh, which make, will make things um, very easy as well. Back over here. Um, I think there were some other questions I got privately. Do you want me to, um, I mean, we have the wish list video that you made. Do you want me to post? Um, yeah, we actually uh, did make one. There is a, um, uh, now that I think about that, um, right, Valerie? Valerie can post that link, but there is a, uh, there is a wish list um, app, uh, a Chrome extension, where you can add items from any store to a wish list, and then you can, uh, then you can go back to those links. So it's basically making a list of, uh, of links. Uh, yeah. Who's the I don't know who's murdering the children. But. Okay. We'll just mute that for now. I, I, I don't want to know what happened. We won't talk about it. <laughs> I wasn't here. So yeah, Valerie, if you could get in that video, um, that would be great. I didn't even think about that. That would have been great for our other webinar as well. Here's the wish list one, and then I'll post the extension one that you made as well um, right here after. Okay, so uh, the questions, um, can you lay out the best strategy or tactics that newbies need to keep in mind to have a successful RA Black Friday campaign? Uh, I'm interested in timing slash schedule and types of items to look for in stores and types of items to avoid at all costs. Um, oh, jeez, okay. So, um, I'm sorry, did I miss something? I don't know what BFN is. Okay, so, oh, we're talking about, um, sorry, Vicki, we're talking about BF ads, which, uh, bfads.net, which is uh, Black Friday ads. Um, it's, and if you go to BFN, uh, bfads.net, uh, which is the site we're on, we're looking at Walmart, it has um, basically every leaked uh, Black Friday ad out there. So 
you'll know what um, you can look right now and see all the Black Friday ads that are going to come out on Thanksgiving morning. Do your research on all of those sites. I know for a fact there's over a hundred, and some of those um, some of those ads have upwards towards two thousand different um, uh, items listed on it. So you know there's a ton of stuff that you can be researching um, right now. Um, yeah, actually, the first one um, is for the Amazon wish list. That probably wouldn't apply here, but the um, Amazon Assistant um, extension is great for you guys. So you can actually add; um, it's linked to your Amazon wish list, but you can add uh, items to a wish list from any website you're on. So you can be on Target or Walmart or any of the other um, things that have uh, the link sites. Um, the linked ads and you can add these to a separate wish list and then when they come available you can just go to those links um, when whenever the ad starts for that site and like we were saying uh, Thursday the Walmart ad um, is going to start at 6 p.m. but that's going to be different for every different uh, store oh he's showing us how to link stuff oh. Let me just. Where's the... Wait a minute. Hi, how are you? Hi, Lolly, how you doing? Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute you there. I don't know why people aren't being muted when they come in, but um, I, I assume you just came in. Um, yeah, bfads.net. Um, this is a great site, and then you can use that Amazon Assistant. It's a Chrome extension, of course. Um, but it's called Amazon Assistance. I, I did make a video walking you guys through um, how to use it. And then even if the site doesn't have an extension, I, I actually didn't even think about using it for this. Valerie just brought that up. Um, good job. You know, paying attention, but good job. Um, and then you can add, um, you know, your, you can make a wish list for any of these sites. And uh, the last we checked, we're going to run it again, but the last we checked, there was... Uh, over a hundred different sites uh, that are supported on uh, bfads.net. Uh, so we're gonna be back. So were those both the videos, or did you want a different one up there? No, no, no. That second one was perfect. Um, you know, so you know, not everything. You know, obviously, this phone is. You know, you know, you have to research the products, and um, like we said in our other. Um, the other training we did, uh, you know, you have to use common sense. A lot of these products may not have been available yet. So if you know it's a good product, if it has a good brand behind it, you know, it's like if you buy, you know, you see Nikes, but they have no rank and they were just uploaded three days ago uh, onto Amazon, you know, you know that item's going to sell. You know, you see Nikes or Reeboks or Adidas or, um, you know, whatever the brand is, you know it's going to sell. You know it's a brand people are going to search for. You know it's a product people are going to search for just because it doesn't have a good rank. It's just because it doesn't have a good rank yet. Um, you know, and there's a lot of products that get released on Black Friday, between Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and, you know, Small Business Saturday, and everything in between. Uh, so all that stuff is going to be there and be, um, you know, they're going to be good sellers, but, you know, you just have to use common sense. Is it something that's going to sell? Um, just because it hasn't been available yet uh, doesn't mean it's not, um, you're not going to sell out of it. You know, and you're not going somewhere, you're not going to be able to buy 200 of anything. You know, you're only going to be able to buy a handful of them. And, you know, we easily hit multiple Walmarts. It's, it's, not, um, it's not hard to do. You know, we're going to go to Walmarts and Targets and Toys R Us and, and all that. And there's still going to be a ton of stuff to buy. Um, you know, hours afterwards and even into the next day. You know, on Black Friday, we're still finding great products to buy. So, um, you know, don't think you have to be there waiting in line when the items, um, you know, when the Black Friday sale starts because you really, really don't. Um, you know, there's, there's a ton of uh, great products that are going to be worth buying that just aren't 
um, you know, that people aren't fighting over. They're fighting over a handful of products, and that's, you know, really about it. Um, and once again, um, for all the people that, you know, have been slowly creeping in a um, half hour late, um, we're at bfads.net. bfads.net has um, – over a hundred different uh, stores that have all the leaked ads. Basically, every ad that's been leaked is going to be available. Uh, well, see there, we're going to try and do both. We're going to buy, um, you know, the good thing about Walmart and a lot of these other stores, you can buy stuff online. So, um, unless it says online only or in-store only, most of these stores, including Walmart, are going to have all this stuff available online. So, we're going to try and buy it online, and if we can't buy it online or if we wanted more, then we're going to buy it in the store because, um, you know, it's going to start out at uh, usually midnight. So uh, what they say is all day. So midnight on Thursday, this stuff is going to be available on Walmart.com. And then at 6 p.m. Thursday night, it's going to be available in the stores. So, uh, you know, the answer is, is both. We're going to buy whatever we can, and then, um, you know, we're going to buy whatever we can again when we go to the store. Um, you know, the things that, you know, you're going to be able, people are going to be going after what they want first, you know, whatever they want the most first. So um, you do the same thing. You know, you know there's going to be a giant line for a TV. Maybe you try and get that online. Um, because you're going to be able to do an order and then maybe order something else, but you're not going to be able to order 10 things, 20 things, um, because you, you need to order and check out or somebody else can get it because the shopping cart really doesn't mean anything until you paid for it on walmart.com. So you have to order it, pay for it, check out as quick as you can, and then you're going to have to go and do, do it with something else. So, um, you know, I would focus on what's most important to you. If you need a TV, you know, there's going to be a million people fighting for those TVs in the store. You might want to try and get that online or, you know, whatever uh, you think is the most important. You do that or have it open in a couple different windows or, um, you know, whatever it is you need to do to get uh, what you want. Um, and then, you know, try and get something else and try and get something else. And then, wow, that thing is a big toy. Um and then you're going to move on to, um, you know, to the next thing. And that's the same thing we do in the store. You know, we really aren't fighting it out with anybody in the store because, you know, for one thing, we're usually coming uh, after everybody else. Uh, and then, um, you know, we're, we're getting the thing that there's plenty of. Oh, my I know what somebody's getting for Christmas. Oh, Don't worry, it's not for you. It's for your two-year-old kid. Oh, my God. He needs a basketball hoop, bro. On a trampoline. Oh, my God. Oh, my brain. My heart. My stress level. My insurance policy. <laughs> um, yes, John. Um, I think they're processing it right now. So if you're talking about the the ads file for the um, the paid webinar thing I did with Christopher Grant, uh, yes, we're hoping to have a new one out tomorrow. Um, now. The stores that, you know, it's a leaked ad, so nothing new will ever be added to those stores. So if you have a number in there, it's not going to get updated because, you know, the ad is leaked. So either it is or it isn't. But all the ones that have zeros on it, um, you know, we're hoping that new stores have leaked and we'll be able to add uh, to those. So, um, you know, whatever update we're able to do, um, you know, anything new that's been added to the site, we're going to be able to uh, put out. Um, you know, and I wouldn't probably recommend sending in any, you know, 
55 inch giant bears or, or anything like that. Um, you know, big does sell, but you know, there is, uh, there is a limit. Oh, I would, yeah, drum, he's already got drums. All right, Val, he's got drums, he needs mm -hmm. a bigger drum kit. I would totally take a drum set for Christmas. If somebody wants to get me some drums, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> Just send them to Valerie. I'll keep them at her house. Oh, yes. Wait. Hey, back. Okay. I'm going to get Sammy like the loudest, biggest karaoke machine possible with like quadruple amps or something. Okay. Thing. Just day. remember, whatever you can do, I can do better <laughs> and bigger. Send thousands of those little balls. Truckloads is going to arrive at the house. I'll have a three-piece band arrive at your house and serenade you at two in the morning. So don't uh, <laughs> don't think I won't do it. Poop shoes. Everybody needs poop shoes. Kelly, you need some poop shoes? Absolutely. What's that new product out? That that like poop product that they have? They put a commercial out for it. The poop emojis? No, it's like a commercial. It's like so you can take this like spray with you at any time. I don't know. It's on, it's Oh yeah. yeah, what's it called, Kelly? The fart uh, uh, spray. We've had that for years. It's called liquid ass. It's been out for like ten years. I, it, it is the worst smelling thing ever. I've got some around here somewhere. It's awesome. Like a lady though. Yeah, it's the greatest prank ever. So, hey, somebody gets you mad next time you're shopping in a store, just spray some on them. Great. Let's give them a little spritz. Oh my gosh. There's They'll be the stinky one for the rest of the uh, the day. Commercial hilarious, John. She's like, never going to go like, I don't know, drop the kids off at the pool or something. I don't know what she said. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a commercial for it. We keep it classy around here. Toilet perfume. Yeah, I've never heard of that. But all right. So, uh, any other questions? Anything we can help you guys do to narrow it down? Remember, number one, make a list. You know, so you narrow your stores down. Research whatever stores uh, you want to do. There is a ton here. I know there's about 160 um, stores. If we uh, once you go to bfads.net, you can just go. Oh, you go over here to see all stores, hover over stores and see all stores. And here is every single store. Forget about the featured stores at the, uh, at the top. Every store in alphabetical order. Um, and anywhere that, you know, you want to try and source at, um, you know, is going to be in here. And you go here, you look at the ads, you research which ones. Um, you know, all the products they have, uh, compare it to Amazon. Um, you know, if you use tactical arbitrage, you know, we did put out a training that is amazing. I'm sure John and whoever else signed up for it will, um, will test to do to it. I mean, it's, it basically automates everything on the site through tactical arbitrage. Um, and it's going to give you the prices that they're going to be on Black Friday, not the current prices. And, um, one thing I can tell you, um, speaking of T-Mobile, I don't know if it's in the ad, but there is, um, if anybody uses T-Mobile right now, there is a great deal. You can get two lines for free. Um, they're going to pay for the service every month. Um, they just reimburse you, and um, it, it's just going to show up as a credit. Um, I just added three more lines to my account. 
um, and they have uh, a unit now you can put Wi-Fi into your car. So you always have, your car is always a Wi-Fi hotspot. It plugs into your ODB2 port, which is that port where they, um, they plug in the, um, you know, the device to read your, um, the scan codes on your car. Like if there's a check, or, uh, check engine light or something, you go to um, your auto repair guy and, you know, he plugs that box in. Well, now there's a, um, a Wi-Fi port you can plug in. Um, they're going to pay the monthly fees for you. They're going to give you the thing. Um, and you get six gigs for free. I got two of them, one for me, one for Valerie. Um, and they mail them to you, but, um, you know, it's, it's going to be great. So you have Wi-Fi. It basically doesn't cost you anything else if you're a T-Mobile member. Um, but I do... Um, and I think that's available everywhere. I, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I want to show you this deal right here. Um, we actually got a, I have somebody who works there, so they're getting me a deal on these. Um, if you know what Mofi is, I've been recommending these to people for years. Um, Mofi is the, um, is that, it's a battery case where you can charge it up and you put your phone into it. It's a regular case if it ever loads. Uh, and what it's gonna do is uh, when your battery goes dead, you can just turn it on and it's gonna act like a charger, but it's all in a case. It's not something that you, um, you know, an external thing you gotta plug in. So what they're doing, these are, hmm, it's actually not taking us to it. So if I click there, it just takes us right through. So it's not taking us to the page. But um, if you can see right here uh, in the picture, there's a mini power station. Uh, these retail for $59.99. Amazon sells them for about $32. Um, I'm not sure if they're a seller on it or not, but um, I got like a dozen of these coming from um, my guy there, he's going to hold them back um, but they're for Black Friday. So they're selling on Amazon for $32. I think the rank's a little high because I don't think anybody knows about them. But Mophie is like the brand um, to look at. Let's go to Amazon here. Um, the last time I looked, I think Amazon was selling them for $32. Bucks. Um, so they're going to be selling them for uh, $9.99, which is a great... Um, thing and it's a um, you know it's great for you great to give for gifts great to sell on Amazon that's a mini um, and I don't know the one I seen with gold I'm not sure if they're all gold um, But, I mean, you can look that up yourself. I'm not sure what other deals they have. That, uh, he told me they're going to have uh, hundreds of them at every, uh, at every store. Um, the LG Tone Pro 760s, $30 off. I'm not sure what the price is going to be there, but I know the Tone Pros are going to be $25 uh, if you're uh, allowed to sell uh, LG, um, LG products. Um, so, and I don't know what other kind of deals they're going to have, but they're going to have a ton of deals. If you're at the mall sourcing, I know that's going to be um, a great deal. Um, you know, and I mean, my phone's always dying. I'm always on my phone, obviously answering uh, all of your questions. Um, so. Um, you know, we have several of these actually. Uh, I don't have this one, but I will, you know, after Friday. Uh, and I'm going to give these away as gifts to some people. Maybe we'll do some giveaways for them. Um, but I, that's a great deal. It's good for yourself, good for reselling. Um, you know, so there's going to be a ton of stuff here that you're going to want yourself, you want to sell. Um, you know, think about Christmas gifts. We still have to buy gifts for people. Um, gift cards, um, you know, and don't forget your gift cards and your cash back. Um, you know, always uh, check out Card Bear. You're doing all your research ahead of time. So, you know, you should be buying tonight or tomorrow. You should be buying all of your, um, you should be getting your gift cards now. Go to Card Bear, go find what the best prices are. Um, 
and start getting your gift cards so you can uh, be prepared. If you're going to Walmart, get Walmart gift cards or, you know, Ross or TJ Maxx or Lowe's or, you know, where, wherever, um, wherever you're going to be sourcing at. Um, and I think that's all I got to talk about for Black Friday. So if you have any questions, I mean, you guys should have a ton of questions about what, um, you know, what your plans are. So uh, Caesar, I don't know what cardboard is. So card, no, okay. Card Bear um, is, a, is a site that um, checks out all the gift card uh, sites. Cashback Monitor, monitors all the different uh, cashback sites. So uh, two different things. Um, you know, cashback can only be used online, of course, and um, CardBear is gonna show you the different sites, and neither one of them sell anything. Cashback Monitor doesn't have any, um, any discounts they do themselves, and CardBear doesn't sell any gift cards. They only, you know, are monitoring all the sites and showing you what the best thing. Um, so, um, this is a question that relates directly to if somebody bought my, um, not mine, but Christopher Grant and my, um, you know, the course we did on the Black Friday ads, which would be, um, you know, running the custom site with BF ads. So, if you didn't get that, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, he wants to know when the best time to do research, and I guess this doesn't apply to that, but when's the best time to do a search and tactical arbitrage if you have that? If not, when is the best time to research it? And that would be right now. Do it as quickly as you can um, because if you're running a TA scan on, um, you know, on BF ads, it, it's going against the prices that they're going to be for Black Friday. So prices aren't going to fluctuate. The only thing that's going to change is the, the prices on the Amazon side. So, uh, you know, uh, do your research now, get the information in as quickly as possible, and, um, you know, and save your results so you can scan as many stories as you can so you're as informed as possible. You know, so check out everything at Walmart. Check out everything at Target that you can now so, um, you know, so it's done because those ads aren't going to change. The prices aren't going to change. The only thing that might change is Walmart, and there's not going to be a big difference between now uh, and Friday on, the, um, on that side. Uh, okay, so Caesar is still going through severe analysis paralysis. I think I'm overcomplicating things. Yes, yeah, Caesar, you're definitely overcomplicating things. Just get out there and buy stuff. Now is the easiest time to find things. You know, get out, buy it, sell it. You know, get paid and and repeat. Uh, do you re recommend spending more than you have in your cash flow if you have the money to get more stuff for Q4? Uh, you know, that's different for everybody's business, uh, Vicki. Um, you, know, uh, you know, some people work off of credit cards and pay them off every month. Some people only want to pay, uh, pay with cash. Um, you know, the best advice is always to not spend more than you can afford to lose. Um, but in the end, uh, go. Okay. Um, don't ever spend more than you can afford to lose, but on the other hand, uh, with Amazon, you very rarely lose. All you're going to lose is some time. So, you know, if you buy something for 50 bucks and, you know, the price tanks, what are you going to get out of it? You're going to get 45 bucks back out of it. So it's not like you're investing in a business and the business, you know, goes belly up and you lost a $10,000 investment. You know, if you're buying products, you know, even if the price tanks on those products, you're still going to get most of your money back out of it. It might tank to where it's selling for what you paid for it, and all you're losing is Amazon fees and 50 cents a pound shipping. Um, you know, so we're not talking about a big loss. And the thing about Black Friday to Cyber Monday and doing retail arbitrage in general is you're spreading all your money out you know, so wide. I mean, we have 2,000 different SKUs. 
you know, if the price tanks and I can never sell one of them again, really, who cares? Even if it's a couple hundred, you know, you know, if the price tanks on one thing, it's one thing. You shouldn't be deep in anything, especially on Black Friday. You're not, you're not buying 200 or something. You know, you're, you're able to get a couple of them or you're able to get 10 of them. You know, even if we fill up five shopping carts at a store, which we do all the time, you know, we only have a handful of something. We very rarely, you know, are buying hundreds of them, unless it's something, you know, that we know we can keep selling over and over or grocery items or, you know, where we've planned out, you know, to buy two or three weeks worth at a time. Um, you know, in the end, you're not really losing a ton of money. You, you know, you never really, like, lose big. You know, uh, the most thing you're ever going to lose is however much you had to pay in Amazon fees and shipping fees. Um, because usually a price tanking means, you know, you're paying about what you sold, you know, what you, you're selling it for about what you paid for it. Um, so, you know, I really don't think that as a loss, price, tanking prices is, and I know you didn't ask about that, but that's, you know, a big part of your question. Um, you know, your, how much money you made the whole year you know, if you made a million dollars for the whole year, but 20 of your products you lost money on, you know, who cares? Because, you know, it's, you have to look at the big picture on Amazon. Some things you're going to make a lot of money on. Some things you're going to make a little money on. Some things, you know, you'll break even. Um, but, you know, it's a big picture. It's what, what you end up with at the end of the year that matters. So if you have more winners than losers, you're, you're probably going to be okay. And even if you're losers, are not really losers, they're just items you may not have broken even on. And I hope that made sense to you, but... Uh, all righty, um, I guess uh, we're done with all our questions. Uh, if you have any problems, any questions, you know, if you're ready to buy stuff, if you're, if you're outsourcing on Friday, you know, send me a message on Facebook. John, I don't think we're friends on Facebook, but, you know, send me a friend request. Everybody should be uh, friends with me on Facebook. So if you have any questions while you're outsourcing, I'm not going to be here on Cyber Monday. Uh, I, have a, I have a meeting on Monday. Um, my partner, um, a mastermind member who is our most successful member, is going to um, be doing the webinar. It'll be at the same time. Christopher Grant's going to be running everything. We're going to be live sourcing uh, for Black Friday, finding deals. I'll share with you links and everything else for all the deals we're finding right on the webinar. Help you out with anything you have for Cyber Monday. And, um, you know, we'll be sourcing live. So um, I won't be here next week uh, for the webinar live, but Valerie will be here. Christopher Grant will be here. And um, any questions, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, um, you know, if you're outsourcing, you don't know if to buy it, just, you know, take a picture, send me a link, whatever you need to do, um, and we'll, we'll help you work you through it right there. Um, yeah. Sorry, we'll have to leave my son. Um, are you buying this? Yeah, I mean, if it's live season, then go ahead and buy it uh, if the price is right. Because there is stuff that's live, but the prices don't get changed till, um, you know, till uh, the Black Friday thing starts. Um, I see there are some other questions. I wasn't scrolling. Sorry. Um, private question: Do you see? Do you keep a history from? Uh, last year, uh, the same time period, uh, pricing, your decisions, uh, and, okay, your pricing decisions and purchase decisions to avoid products to tank. Uh, yeah, we do look at uh, stuff from last year, but um, I, I don't put a whole lot of stock in that because uh, um, the products from last year, you know, it may have been a really hot product and you know, selling for a hundred bucks last year and it's, you know, worth 12 this year. Something like Pie Face, you look last year compared to this year, you know, the supply and demand issue. So, you know, we're going to look at it to see how popular it was compared to right beforehand. And we'll, you know, um, you know, 
we're going to take it into consideration, but it's not all that we base it on because what happened last year has nothing to do with what's going to happen this year. Anything we need to know about Cyber Monday uh, or the same with Black Friday? Uh, Cyber Monday is very similar to Black Friday now uh, because a lot of the Black Friday ads are going to be available um, online. So uh, we're going to look at that. Uh, I would definitely look at um, BF ads. They do have... I don't know if they have it up yet, but yeah. Um, so actually, I should share my screen to show you guys this. But um, so if you go look at uh, BF ads, if you go to ad scans, you can see all ad scans. But there's Black Friday, there's one for Cyber Monday, there's one for Thanksgiving Day, um, what they call Black Saturday, which is actually Small Business Saturday. There are some uh, special deals for that. So if you go to Cyber Monday, look at the ad scans. Uh, you can see all the um, all the sites that are doing it. Uh, there's only a handful up here, but I'm sure uh, once they get all the stuff for, um, I'm sure there's going to be more. Um, uh, last year there was a ton of these, so um, you know, check them out here. And if you have my custom um, thing for uh, BF ads for tactical arbitrage, then you'll be able to scan these as well uh, when they start popping up. Um, um, you know, so definitely look into, um, you know, I would get through Black Friday and then, you know, we shop all through the weekend, but when you have your downtime at home, I would start looking at uh, Cyber Monday deals and ads. And you're going to do it the same as anywhere else. You're going to start researching um, whatever you can for, um, you know, to get, to get your deals. I mean, uh, it, it's all, you know, whatever deal, whatever sale, uh, it's all the same thing. You know, it's, you have to do your research and prepare. Um, you have to do your research and, and be prepared for before you go into it. So research what products you, you're going to want to buy. All the Cyber Monday deals are going to be, um, um, you know, promoted well in advance. So, you know, Walmart and Target and everybody else is going to be having Cyber Monday deals they want you to buy online. And, um, you know, just get out there and do your research, put your list together. And no matter what ad, what time of the year, it, it works all the same way. Um, uh, John, can tactical arbitrage be programmed to crawl the deal sites like Slick Deals? Uh, Slick Deals, not really, because there's not really uh, products being sold. It's just basically messages from a message board that get promoted over to their deal site, and um, usually it just doesn't it doesn't uh, you know mesh well. How do you decide what orders, um, what order you're hitting uh, the stores? Um, usually we're gonna hit, you know, there's a lot of stuff at Walmart, so we're gonna hit a few Walmarts first, uh, then we go over to Target, and, and we'll hit a few Targets, and then uh, usually the next morning, um, you know, I'm usually exhausted, that's usually well into the morning, so um, we usually go to Toys R Us the next day. The Toys R Us, um, Problem with Toys R Us, they do have a lot of good deals, but in the end, it's not worth waiting in line for three hours to check out because, you know, Target will have 30 registers and every register will be open. And Walmart, the only day of the year I ever see every register open. Well, like Christmas Eve and stuff, I'll see it too. But, um, but if you go to Toys R Us, they may only have six or eight registers, you know, in total, so they can't open more. Um, so what happens there is they have a queue line that starts at the front door, goes up and down every aisle to get to the registers. Uh, and in the end, even hours later, even at midnight when they open at nine, it's still not, um, you know, something I'm, I'm ready to do. I'm not there to wait in line. Uh, right. Definitely a big bottleneck. So uh, what we usually do is go the next morning. There's tons of stuff. We've come out, you know, 12 or 15 hours after the Black Friday, uh, you know, sale starts, and we've still had multiple shopping carts full of stuff. You know, there's a ton of stuff. From The big thing to remember is what 99% of the people going there for um, is not the same stuff you're going there for. 
you know, somebody might be buying one of what, you know, is worth reselling, but, you know, the stuff they want, the TVs, the expensive electronics, all those people waiting in those giant lines that are probably in line right now at Best Buy are, are waiting for, you know, very high-end products that they're maybe saving 100 bucks. It's not worth flipping because even with the discount, it's not worth selling. So all those people, let them get in and out and then go in behind them, swoop in behind them and get all the stuff that you want and let them fight over the stuff that um, is not worth reselling. Um, you know, and the way I do it, it's not, has nothing to do with you. Maybe all the hot stuff that is worth it for you is, you know, is at Toys R Us and you need to go there first. You know, the only thing you can do is go through all that stuff and decide, you know, go through those ads, decide what is best for your business, you know, what's most important to you, and go to those stores. Um, you know, we have a completely different, you know, business practice from everyone else, um, at least everyone else in this group. So, um, you know, we buy liquidation, we buy tons of stuff that just wouldn't work for most people's businesses. Okay, uh, we're going to wrap it up. Again, send me a friend request if we're not friends. Send me uh, any questions that you have. If you're out there doing it, you know, send me a message. I will, we will be there to help you. Um, so, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions. That's the biggest problem here is, you know, people are afraid to ask for help. So even if you're out there sourcing or you're online sourcing, whatever you're doing, send me your message, send me a link. You know, don't even have to give me a big long spiel. Send, send me a picture of a barcode or send me a link to Amazon or the store. That's all you got to do. I know what you're sending it to me for. So don't, don't waste a whole lot of time. Just, you know, send me the information. I know why you're sending it. You need help and we're going to help you. Good night.